talked about clear a little bit, but let's just go ahead and um, discuss it a little bit more in depth just so you fully understand it. Basically, when you want to stop a float, you need a way to tell a tag to ignore a floated element. And you can do that using clear. So in this example, we I've just modified the page that we've been using. It basically has our call out box without the hidden property associated with it. And it has some shortened text right here and our header. And I've also added a div that contains this copyright information. So if we look in our XHTML document here at the bottom, I simply have created a div with an idea of copy I have the information in there and then I close the div and that appears below everything else. Because of my floated item, the basically when you have floated items that are kind of close together or floated items that aren't very wide, they might float up next to each other or in this case the floated elements shouldn't float next to each other at all. I want that copyright to be at the very bottom of my page. So you can use the clear property to be able to control that. The clear property basically instructs an element to not wrap around a floated image. By clearing an element, you essentially force it to drop down below the floated element, and you can control which type of float, left or right, is cleared to force a style to simply ignore, um, or force a style to simply ignore both types of floats by using the both um, option. So let's go ahead and let's set this up so that we can see what clear is doing. To illustrate the clear um, property in action a little bit better, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a style for my copy div. And I actually have a style here for clear, but we can get rid of that. I'll just change this to copy. And this is a div, so I need to use my hash mark. And we'll just get rid of this. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to just turn on some color value for this so we can see what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and set the color of the text to white. I'm going to go ahead and set the font size of the text to be a bit smaller, so I'll use 0.69 M's. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the text align um, of right to get my text to appear along the right of that div. I'll go ahead and I'll set a background color and we're going to go ahead and use a background color of that same red that we were using on the text. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set um, some padding and around the edge so that my text isn't too tight. So I will set my padding top to 2 pixels. I will set my padding bottom to 2 pixels. I will set my padding right to 4 pixels. And let's go ahead and let's just set a margin on the bottom of the page. This will become important once we make this so that the div is not just anchored at the bottom of the page. I'm just going to set it to be pretty big so I have some room to scroll so you can see what's happening. So a margin of 5 M's at the bottom. I'll save this and let's refresh and now you can see exactly what's happening in my copyright notice. It is still here underneath this call out box. Now I don't want it to appear there. I actually want it to display underneath the call out box. So we can go ahead and fix that using clear. The copyright notice, um, we want it to appear at the bottom of the page. So we need to clear any floated items. And essentially that's just a floated right item. So we could use clear uh, right or we could just use clear both. A lot of times I'll just use clear both. Um, either way it's going to do the same thing in this instance. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save. And now when I refresh the page, you can see that that copyright notice has disappeared. That's because it's been pushed down here to the bottom of the page. So now it appears the way I want it to. Um, this basically demonstrates how the clear property can prevent floated items of varying heights from clumping together and how you can also set something to basically ignore a floated item and appear underneath it. And that'll be something that you'll want to do. So hopefully this goes ahead and clarifies any questions you might have about clear.